Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and first of all, I want to say sorry about my hair. I feel like I look like I was like partying with like Kesha or something. And second of all, I just want to say, look at my sweatshirt. I don't know if I've ever worn this in one of my vlogs before or not, but check it out. Size Graveyard Girl, uh, which is me. Anyway, so today I'm going to be filming my first like thrifting haul and dependent on how much everyone likes this one um I will do more because for real I could probably do like 500 thrifting haul vlogs because I thrift so much like for real if there was a show like hoarders but for like thrifters like that would be me I'd be like number one like they'd have some kind of like counselor in there being like look bunny stop thrifting for real. Um, so I have like this massive pile over here and I'm just going to try and throw out y'all some of my best tips and tricks and ideas and um, how I go thrifting. Um, and I know I've said a lot that my favorite thrift store is Value Village and I kind of like quit going to other thrift stores because let me just tell y'all, Goodwill, I have a problem with Goodwill. Like Goodwill is kind of like a department store but with used clothing. Like, I go to Value Village and I pay like 10 cents for stuff. Like, I go to Goodwill and like, things are like $7. I'm like, are you for real? Like, if I was gonna spend like $7, I would go to Forever 21 and buy something new. Like, I just don't see the sense in like, upscale resale. Like, that's just a bunch of crap to me. Like, I'm just like, somebody gave this to you in a plastic bag yesterday and now you're turning around and you're selling it to me for $5. That's a bunch of crap. Um, so I definitely suggest that y'all find, like, something that's equivalent to Value Village. I think in some other places they're called Savers. Yeah. Um, but those kind of places are better to go than, like, Goodwill, which I feel like a total crap ass for saying that. But just from my experience, and especially people that are looking, looking to, like, thrift cheaply, which is the point of thrifting, right? Um, anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to show y'all some stuff I got and explain to you about prices and this and that. Here's one thing that I got really recently that I like. It is a leather skirt. Um, and now this is, it fits really, really well. It's a pencil skirt. I think I paid like $3 for this and it's literally a hundred percent fully lined leather skirt. So that's badass, right? I know like some people on my channel are probably like, Bunny, shut up with the leather, but for real, I love leather. It's my favorite. Um, okay, so secondly, things that I buy are like, um, like, and some people think this is gross. I don't care. Like, for real, I'll buy anything from a thrift store except for underwear. That's it. Um, so this, and I did wear this in a few of my other <laughs> vlogs, I think, but this, um, robe, it's like a dressing gown. Um, but I got it because I definitely liked this. It's very, uh, Victorian, um, very gothic. And it's actually vintage Neiman Marcus. But look, it even has cuffs with, uh, the matching brocade and trim. And I paid $2 for that. And along the same lines, um, lots of times, I will not lie, I get bras from thrift stores. Because I'm like, there's nothing wrong with it. You wash it and it's, like, brand new. So, um, this one I got, um... This is really cute. I think it's really cute. Um, and this actually came from Gap Body. And it's like a full lace bra. I think it's really cute. Um, and I paid like 90 cents for this. And it's in brand new condition. Um, and then a lot of times <clears throat> I will buy bustiers from there. And sometimes I keep them intact the way they are. And sometimes I um, rework them. But I... Got this one the other day for its exaggerated um, keyhole. And as I'm sure y'all can tell, I'm clearly not a C. But this is a 32C cup. Um, so a lot of stuff. And now most thrift stores, or at least Value Villages, the ones I go to, do not have dressing rooms. So you kind of have to like hold it up to you and just like guesstimate if they don't have a dressing room. Um, but this definitely fit and I was very excited about that. Um, and then this bra I just got... Um, and I paid a dollar and ten cents for this, but y'all, for real, it's Christian Dior. Now this does have some rips in it, but I don't know how y'all feel about it. I personally, like, lots of times, like, seek out clothing with rips in it because I think it adds character. Here's another thing that I kind of do, like, when I'm just shopping in general, is I kind of get pieces that are, like, that look historical or remind me of something. 
historical. Anyway, I bought this, um, which I plan on reworking. It's like, um, I think it's supposed to be a girdle, but I'm gonna put ruffles on the side of it and look at, make it look kind of like, I love Deadwood, y'all. I'm like obsessed with that show. So I'm gonna make it look like a, like a saloon girl type, type, um, waist cincher type thing. Um, so that's it for like the lingerie type stuff. Um, another thing that I love doing when I'm thrifting is looking for t-shirts and t-shirts you would not imagine from somebody who likes to dress up as much as I do, but it's actually a staple to my wardrobe and you can find some really awesome t-shirts, really cheap thrifting. Um, like this one <coughs> is one of my favorites. The sleeve is actually coming off, but once again, I like stuff with holes, but look at this. It's actually like this girl who's dead and she's got like a funeral wreath of maggots and she's like, uh, like her plague stricken hand. It says deliver us on the back. I don't really know what the hell that means, but I paid like 60 cents for this. Um, this is another one of my favorite thrifting t-shirts and I paid like 60 cents for this as well. Um, has my makeup on it. That's real classy. Um, but I don't, I don't listen to this band, I have to admit, Whitechapel. I did like the switchblades on the bottom. And I do like Whitechapel because that's where the Jack the Ripper murders occurred. Um, so I was just like, Whitechapel, great. Um, and then this one I actually got this weekend when I was thrifting. It's like a really badass Led Zeppelin shirt. It is so worn. This must just be somebody's favorite freaking Led Zeppelin shirt. Um, I paid a dollar and ten cents for this. And it is so comfortable. I love old rock and roll t-shirts. I have a big collection that I took from my dad because he went to like a bunch of rock and roll concerts and I was like, thanks dad. Um, so that is really awesome. Um, another thing that I love doing is going at Halloween. Um, but if Halloween isn't y'all's thing, um, anytime you can go seasonally, like during your favorite season, you can find all kinds of stuff. Like at Christmas, they just had a slew of like awesome hipster tacky like Christmas sweaters um but this dress I actually reworked it was a size 14 <laughs> and I actually had my mom's help with this because I made it on Halloween day I was like I'm gonna alter this um but I paid like a dollar for this dress and um I live in Texas as some of y'all know so I cut it off I turned it into like a mini dress my mom even like hemmed it because she is so wonderful at alterations and stuff like that and um, we had to put a new zipper in the back and um, of course take it in on the on the sides especially in the top but this made a really cute and I used the extra fabric I wish I knew where it was to show y'all but I made um, actually my mom made it for me, but it's a little hair bow and I had my hair all like Frankensteined out and I had this dress on and my hair bow in and it was really cute. Um, but yeah, just, that's another great thing to keep in mind when you're thrifting, especially if you have any sewing skills, because if you know like the basic stitches, it is so easy to just pin it up the sides and alter it and take it in. So that was really cute. And then another thing that I got at Halloween was this which I just love it's a old sweater and I wear this with just like black tights but it just has jack-o'-lanterns all over it I'm sure their mouths glue in the dark in like 1984 um but yeah that was really cute I didn't I think I paid like right at a dollar for that another thing that I love to do at thrift stores is thrift for jackets I love jackets um and Okay, and here's a tip about thrifting. Like, would I normally shop in Ann Taylor Loft? No. Would I normally shop, you know, at Chico's? No. But you can, like, find stuff. And, of course, like, a lot of it is old. So there are older designs um, or a lot chicer, stuff like that. Like, this jacket is a Chico's size 1. And I added this little thing of Alexander McQueen. I made this from stuff I got at Michael's. It's just like a little um, picture frame and some chain. And I just sewed that on there really quick. Um, but this patterned uh, fabric, I love this. I always cuff my jackets at the bottom, um, but it fits like a wonderful, like tailored jacket. And I actually um, paid $5 for this. So this is a more expensive item that I got thrifting. This jacket I bought um, also because I thought it was, um, very historical looking. This reminded me of like a Civil War time jacket. 
Um, I loved the stitching, the detail. I love any jacket with a Nehru collar, which is a collar like this where it just um, sticks up. Another tip is, especially if you're um, petite, uh, a great way to find jackets, and they're actually a little bit cheaper, is to shop in the little boys section of the thrift store. Um, this being an example, I paid 90 cents for this crazy jacket, um, but I do love, it's almost kind of a mod look to me. Um, with the squares, but it's very fitted on me because it's a little boy's coat. I think this is like a 14, 16, so like an extra large child's is what I wear. So this was once again a size like 14 or 16 woman's, um, but I, this very much made me think of a Victorian um, waistcoat. I put this with like denim shorts and stuff and it comes out really, Cute. I shop in the women's suiting section, which is another section, um, like maybe the boys section that um, lots of people wouldn't think to stop in. Um, but a lot of times what I do is I will take the top and, you know, alter it, make it into like a jacket type thing or just a top that I would wear. And then I take the extra fabric and um, sometimes I actually take it in and then wear it as a, as a whole suit. Sometimes I like to wear like little like secretary outfits because I'm a crazy person or something. Um, or what I will do is I will take the matching fabric and make like a bow or some kind of like accessory that I can wear with this jacket. Um, that way it's kind of like recycling and waste not want not, right? Um, and then another thing I wanted to talk about is like sales at thrift stores because thrift stores have sales. Uh, lots of times you can check and I know Value Village does colored tag days. Like each of the tags are different. So sometimes it's like yellow day, blue day, whatever. And then the um, items that have that color tag are half off. And then the other cool thing about um, Value Village in particular, I'm sure lots of thrift stores are like this, but they will have rounders where everything on that rounder, if it has two X's, it's like a dollar, like three X's mean 50 cents. So, um, I found this skirt the other day, which I also thought was like historical, made me think like Deadwood. Um, I'm really crazy about Deadwood lately. I know it's like a really old show that probably no one else watches but me. Um, but yeah, this is like a velvet velour skirt. Um, it's way longer than anything that I would normally wear. Um, sometimes I buy things that are, um, cheap or strange just because, like, I like to have them around for, like, costume purposes or for photo shoots or something like that. Um, so I called this my Martha Washington dress, <laughs> but I paid $2.30 for it, so I don't feel guilty. Um, it's actually really pretty. Um, very strange from things I'd normally wear. Um, but... I just thought it was pretty. You always want to, when you go thrifting, to uh, have an open mind and think about wearing things that maybe you normally wouldn't shop for. You know, it's the same thing with like stores you wouldn't normally um, shop for. Because if you go in there and you're like, I want a pair of Abercrombie & Fitch um, blue jeans, like what are the odds you're going to find that in your size? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not. It's You'll have a much better experience if you're just like, like lots of times I go in and I'm like, hey, I'm looking for stuff that's black because I wear black. So, you know, if you, if you go with that, you have a lot more to choose from and you'll be able to come out like a lot happier, feeling a lot more successful. Um, like this I bought the other day. Um, it's got like a giant piece of string on it. Um, but it's got like pleating in the front. But I thought about pairing this with a high-waisted skirt. That's what I'm going to do with it. So I'll just get the pleating detail and the shoulder pads. Um, and I paid $1.40 for this. And so this is definitely not something that I would normally be drawn to, you know, if I was at Urban Outfitters or something. Um, but I definitely think I can create a really cute look with this. And especially for like $1.40, it's going to be awesome. Um, so I know I'm probably running short on time with this video. Um, so if y'all have any questions about thrifting, stuff like that, um, be sure and shoot it at me. Let me know if you like this video because I literally have tons of crap in here that I can show y'all that I have gotten thrifting. And as usual, please take a moment to subscribe, um, comment, let me know what y'all think. And if you want, you can follow me on Twitter and I'll put my name right down here. And I will see you guys later.